Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 6. Today we're going to be doing the trailer breakdown for the latest trailer from Comic Con. I am obviously still in San Diego so bear with the microphone, I still think it's pretty good. But anyway, let's go ahead and get right into this so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this week. So, why I say this week is because we've got a shit ton of stuff coming. When I get back to England, we've got the panels. I recorded all the panels. I'm going to upload the Arrow, Supergirl, and the Flash one. Also, I did an interview with Melissa and the Supergirl cast. That's going to be up later this week. Super excited to share that with you guys. And also, I've obviously got a lot of information out of Comic Con and we got a lot of stuff that I'm not going to include in some of these videos like we got the reveal of the Anti-Monitor we know that Tom Cavanaugh is playing a different version of Harrison Wells in the crossover and also we found out Wally West is coming back and so much stuff but that stuff is coming later this week for now we're solely talking about the trailer and you know any news that goes along with it Okay, so the first shot of the trailer, and I have to say straight up, I didn't think this trailer was anything too special. I thought it was pretty good. I was intrigued, but it didn't, you know, live up to the hype of, say, last season's trailer from Comic-Con, which was really, really good. So, yeah, this is definitely focused on the villain, and I thought Blood Work would be a one-episode villain, but it turns out, as it was revealed at Comic-Con, Bloodwork's going to be the villain for the first half of the season, and then it goes to Crisis, and then after Crisis, we've got a completely new villain, and Bloodwork is gone. They've confirmed that, so I guess a bit like Alchemy and Avatar. So yeah, looking forward to seeing who that new villain is. I really do hope it's, you know, either Godspeed, who is in Episode 1, but he doesn't seem to be, you know, the main villain. Maybe a one-off again, but... I'm hoping for Red Death in the back half. Okay, so the first shot of the trailer, we get to see Blood Work, Ramsey Rosso, as his name is in the comics. He's in a graveyard. We found out that they were shooting a scene in the graveyard. Everyone was like, oh no, who's going to die? But no, it's, you know, Ramsey's there and maybe it's, you know, his family or a patient or whatever he's doing there. Okay, so in the voice overlay, and this is obviously in the style of how The Flash opens, you know, every episode with my name is Barry Allen, I'm the fastest man alive. So what he says, and I've written it all down, I'm gonna read it out to you is, my name is Dr. Ramsey Rosso, and for the last decade I've spent my life dedicated to a single cause, helping others fight the diseases that plague humanity, but not anymore, and it's all because of them. And we'll talk about, you know, where that leads to in a sec. And so he continues on to say, you see, there were many cancers in this world, and they all wear different faces. Some are doctors, like me. Some of them seek out the truth, regardless of consequences. Others mock the very science that they worshipped. But the most dangerous ones are those who call themselves heroes. And the last line he does is, It's all a lie. In the end, there's only one battle, an eternal enemy, who must be eliminated forever. And that's death itself. No one has to die ever again. So, you know, it seems like obviously he's doing it with, you know, kind of good intent because he wants to, you know, defeat death in some way with whatever his experiments are. We know from the panel they actually revealed that Ramsey actually worked with Caitlin Snow at one point, and so there is a connection obviously right there. But he seems to want to try and find a cure. But in the same point, he thinks that there are all these cancers in the world and, you know, he must do everything himself. And he especially hates heroes because they think they save everyone when they're not defeating, you know, the eternal threat that is death that he's trying to defeat. So he thinks of, you know, of himself as a hero. And so, along with the voice overlay, we get these various shots from the barbecue scene that we saw some behind the scenes of recently. We got Joe right here. And then you got this wide shot of everyone, and you know, it's everyone apart from Ralph and you know, Harrison Wells. We don't know what version of Wells is coming, but at the Comic Con panel, they revealed it is in fact a new version of Wells, and they kept on repeating Central. So, also, they mentioned swashbuckling, so 
mm, is he some sort of pirate or what? I'm not sure as to exactly what's happening there, but Tom's playing three characters this season. That is nuts. But, you know, one main character who we don't know yet. Okay, so then we got a shot of Danielle as Caitlyn at the same barbecue, and then you have this shot of Barry again in sort of his Hawaiian wear. And then we move on to the next shot. This next shot is of some sort of tube, and I don't know what's in it, but it seems like this is Dr. Ramsey Russo's work and, you know, his cure or however he's trying to defeat death and whatever his plan is, which is in the end going to infect him in some way and become, you know, blood work from the comics. So the reason why I felt like I was a bit let down, you know, especially with the reveal when he turns around, we'll talk about that in a sec, is yeah, lots of people knew him from Heroes and stuff. Like, number one, I don't know who he is. And I didn't know until, you know, I saw the trailer who this actor was. He hasn't done much apart from Heroes. And, you know, I'm just such a big fan of the look of Bloodwork. So I guess I was just sort of hoping that we would, you know, see him in his full form. Which I definitely think is going to happen, of course, in the episode. But, you know, I was a little let down with his stuff in this trailer but anyway so it seems like that is what he's working on and so when he talks about doctors then we get you know the parallel shots with Caitlyn I think this is a new shot I could be completely wrong but then we move on we see the shot of Iris in her office and then to Cisco as it whips around from Barry and Iris to Cisco and Cisco is obviously staying this whole season and what he says is, we just ran out of time. So they're obviously trying to defeat the villain of the week or whoever they're trying to defeat. And I think that's definitely Godspeed. I think he's just going to be the episode one villain. So, you know, whatever version of himself it is. And then we get a closer shot as it pans in very slowly. As, you know, it's very slow for TV. They don't tend to take their time. So I was kind of surprised at, as to how long, you know, this scene was. But anyway, so he's still in the graveyard. Then we get various jump cuts over his voice overlay. And, you know, you've got Killer Frost and everything like that going on. And this is definitely a new shot of Iris, as far as I'm aware. And she is trying to save someone. And, you know, she's really trying. And what she says in this specific scene is, hang on. And so she's, someone's been obviously attacked. And she isn't able to help because she sort of leaves with this face of shock that you see on the screen right now and then we go to Camilla and Cisco in Star Labs and Camilla says every time I come here there is always a crisis which is obviously a wink and a nod to crisis because in the trailer it cuts to 2019 you know how last season ended in season 5 so that was absolutely nuts can't wait to see what happens with crisis obviously linked into the story and then we move on, we got this closer shot again of Ramsey in the graveyard, and then we get this new shot, and this is the new character, the scientist, who is going to be working with Team Flash a bit, and this version, this character, sorry, is, you know, he's at this con event, he's making um, this sort of device, and so he's obviously some sort of tech nerd and he's a scientist as well. So he's going to play into, you know, Cisco and Caitlin and, you know, everything, what they like. And what he says is the scientifically impossible probably will happen. Then in reply to that, it seems like Barry says, tell me what I can do. And so I'm not sure. In this, in this shot with Barry, though, he is, in fact, in... The time vault which is very interesting so maybe actually he's probably talking to Gideon probably not talking to the scientist but in the trailer it seemed to be like they cut it to that and anyway the scientist yeah that's him that's our first look at this new character and then we get the reveal as the as he sort of whips around and he you know faces towards the camera you see his eyes sort of ink up they go all black and so then he says no one has to die ever again so you can very much so tell he's the villain and so, like I said, the villain for the first half of the season is Bloodwork, who is in this episode. And then Crisis, you know, Reverse Flash is confirmed to be returning. we got Tom Cavanaugh playing a version of Pariah, which is very exciting. We've got all, these cri all this Crisis news. We know LaMonica Garrett's playing the Anti-Monitor. So all that will be in other videos. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this video, talking about the Flash 
season six trailer. Super excited to hear what you think about all of this. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.